So, today, by popular request, I am showing you exactly how I do my pool noodle floaters for my pond. Um, this is a black pool noodle, which I have cut off. Um, because I just have a short section that I want to put. And this goes right along the edge of the pond, and then I anchor it at the ends under the rocks that are around the edge of the pond. Um, and then this hides the edge of the pond really well. The materials, a pair of scissors, a piece of pool noodle, nylon net. This was a little nylon net bag I already made this little floating basket out of the top of it. And so I'm using this, which I will be putting in the bottom of the pool noodle. You take your scissors and your pool noodle and you just cut, just cut into it. I leave a few inches at the end and I cut it about the width of the piece of netting that I have. So I will cut through the top and the bottom. So basically we're just kind of splitting the pool noodle down. Okay, now. And then this is the open part of the net. So I just take the whole thing Put it up through. Open it up to its full width. See what we have here? So, the last time I made one of these, I stitched it with a needle and thread, but you don't have to sew it. There's lots of ways that you can connect it. I'm gonna do cable ties this time. <laughs> Just a little bit of um, coconut fiber. I think I'll put about half of that in there. There we go. Okay, so there's a plane going by. And there's a cat in my workspace. <laughs> um, all right, so I grabbed some pennywort cuttings. Uh, this is a great plant for um, filling in the edges around the pond and things like that. So I'm just going to put those the roots down under, just making sure that all the roots are under the water line because this is gonna, the rocks are gonna weight this down so that it floats in the water uh, with this open up here. And then we're just tucking these plants that are already rooted um, into this little, this little net where they, the roots will be semi-contained. They start coming out of the bottom of the nets too and the fish nibble at them and after a while you can't even tell there is a net there um, because of the way the plants grow through. Uh, this is a piece of Creeping Jenny that's already written, uh, rooted. I'm gonna add that as well. And then I also grabbed some um, chocolate mint sprigs. Um, a lot of people don't realize that you can grow all kinds of plants hydroponically. So even if it's not a water plant, you can still grow it in your pond. So I just take the bottom leaves off and I put them in like this. So the tops are poking out. And then might anchor that down with a little bit more of the coconut fiber. And voila, we have a little floating island and this eventually covers up the pool noodle. You can't even see the pool noodle anymore.
I bet you that the roots will start coming out of the bottom of those holes at some point. Um, I think I'm going to try some Hotunia there. Let me go find some. All right, this is what I was looking for. There's a little bit of a root on this. I'm just going to cut this in a few pieces. And then you just go like this. That piece was already rooted quite nicely. Make sure that goes all the way down in there. I don't know if this part's going to work, so let's see what happens. We're going to anchor with black nylon cord. This stuff is great. And as I suspected, this space isn't even as wide as I thought it was. So part of this is going to go under my bridge. I'm going to snug this up right like this. Like this. Oh, look the other side. I didn't make this one quite long enough, but it'll still work. So the one caution is you want to anchor it to the side, but you don't want to anchor it so high that it can't go down into the water like it needs to. So, once again. I'm just going to wrap this around a rock. And then the rock is going to go down here. And kind of snug that up against the side. See that? And look, the fish are like, what did you put in here? What is that? All right, so here's our pool noodle blanter installed. That's from the edge side. And this is how it looks. It'll take it a little while to fill in. This right here is a pool noodle planter of similar size. You really can't even see the pool noodle on this one anymore. This entire edge here. This is all two big, long pool noodles anchored to the edge and there's a spot right here somewhere where you can still see the noodle but it's filling in very nicely and I only did this a few weeks ago. All right so on the far left of this pool noodle you can kind of see it there it hasn't filled in quite all the way but you pretty much can't see it anywhere else. Thanks for watching.